Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday, July 10th. Happy birthday, beast, beast. 50th birthday of uh, an old friend of mine in the markets. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, gold. Oh, we're looking at gold here. We're playing around gold on Friday. Um, you can see what we were doing. We talked about it on Twitter. Here's the non-farm uh, bar up to 27, back down to 15. Accumulated some shit down here, let some shit go, 31, 33. And then at the close, uh, we got long again, 25. It's now trading at 22. We do like this higher. Uh, as do we like euro dollar higher in general we like dollar weakness and we feel like the new theme here now is it's not rates higher dollar higher it's rates higher oh fuck um this is not going to be good this is going to leave a mark um and so this is one of the themes we're playing on if we're correct um you know, dollar should go lower. Dollar yen had a big down day. Uh, also on Friday, <clears throat> we didn't really harvest any of this. We did actually buy at the fix and the close down here at 10, but then sold that out at 35. All the way back at 93, which is a little bit of a surprise for us. But this should see resistance up here at 143.50. We think that's going to kind of be the roof. Um for dollar yen going forward and the magic magical boj uh, intervention is actually never going to happen uh, they didn't need to intervene we had a natural turn at 145 just ran out of buyers up there and now there's reasons to sell um, because of the change in risk and perhaps a uh, change in drivers for the dollar again we're at the point now where like higher rates are actually bad for your currency because it's bad for your economy. Um, normally higher rates are the number one driver for a currency and I wouldn't say it's, it's not number one anymore. I would just say there's a more of a nuanced look at this. Let's look at dollars are. Talked about this on Twitter as well. Bit of a silly move late in the day down to 81. We did grab some of this but we've already sold it. Um, just sort of a hit and run trade. You could say it was a bearish day in dollar czar, but you could also say not really high or high, high or low. It's a big red bar, but we still think dollar czar is on the way to 20. Um, this doesn't, the story here in dollar czar is never the dollar. It's only, the story is about uh, the South African Rand. Um, and I don't see that getting getting stronger anytime soon now we'd have to make a lot of institutional changes in um, the way that country is run to um, get out of this like vortex vortex towards 20 um, and then eventually vortex towards 50 dollar rent is gonna gonna go to 50 um, sorry sorry folks it just is um, what else is out there oh, yeah crude like, I mean, stay away from crude. We're, we're, we're after 30 years, we're slowly learning. Uh, but crude had a very strong day. Um, this was, this was the hour after non farms. So we, 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 we dropped down to 71.19 and then bullish engulfed through these highs and just never saw it again. 72, 72.68, 50.60 is kind of the, support now all the way up to 74 craziness um, first time up to 75 should be a sell but be careful crude might be doing something stupid keep in mind four days ago we said well one thing we do know is crude is bearish we had signals to get long on this day 27th of June we got fucked on this bar here um, crude I don't understand it. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. 
Um, I guess I am talking about to remind myself not to trade it. Uh, but for those of you who have to trade it or want to trade it, 75 should be an interesting uh, first time point um, going forward. One of the things that we're not bad at trading and um, I've earned some money doing is Euro. We think this is going to break 111 this week. Uh, could be Wednesday CPI. Could be just general dollar malaise. Could be, I doubt PPI on Thursday is going to do it. Um, but big, pretty powerful up day uh, on Friday after that um, after that non-farm, but one of the one of the drivers we saw was just these moves down to 30, 108, 30, and it just didn't like it down there. You're just like, wait a minute, didn't like it down there. Should have been lower. Rates were higher in the U.S. There's a lot of bad news, like kind of bubbling out around in Europe. Um, but this thing is robust. And Friday, you know, we were we were 108.80 for the number, 109.10 immediately, fucked around, 05.15, broke through 30, 72 the high, uh, accumulating euro dollar, uh, euros this week uh, is of interest to us. And it's kind of the same trade as gold, so watch your risk. Um, they tend to move in tandem uh, currently. And so... Keep an eye on euro. Obviously, the big uh, the big point is one ten ninety ninety three, and you could just say it's it's, it's one sorry one ten ninety six. You can just say it's one eleven. The figure. A um, lot of lot of CTAs are going to be forced to buy uh, euro at that at that price. Euro Swiss. We're still bullish. It's um, not doing much. Looks like it's going to bullish engulf today. Um, middle of nowhere. We do eventually think this is going to go to one. Uh, why do we keep talking about it? Because uh, look at the volatility. It's just so shitty. Um, but we've actually been trading it all right. and Kind of selling high ones and buying low ones. Um, in, a co in a sort of like wheelchair bound handicapped uh kind of a way but we might bullish engulf today and if euro breaks through 111 this will just also drag euro swiss higher because dollar swiss it's not going to go to 85 um dollar swiss is also not going to you know not going to go back towards one anytime soon there's going to be some problems here dollar swiss um the year's low is 88 22 probably see that um but coincidentally the, the money that i run here in switzerland is is notion to, it's a managed account notionally held in swiss francs um but i did have a talk with the owner of that money about um moving it into dollars uh tactically and just so we can, you know, we can get the five percent um, money market rate on the, on the funds. We're going to do that somewhere below eighty nine on teams. Hopefully, eighty eight fifty five. Um, but we're watching this now, and this is not a trade. This is an investment. Um, but just goes to show you what I'm thinking here, in a sense, and why Euro Swiss is probably going to go higher. Because even if Euro goes higher, and Dollar Swiss has buyers, that uh, that forces Euro Swiss up. Anyway, light calendar today. Not a whole ton to do. You know, this is not um, this is not a time to to get stuck in uh, to these markets. But um, you know, we're looking to accumulate some euros. Maybe get some cheap ones between thirty and fifteen. Um, and accumulate gold. This is our main focus for today. And we'll see what happens with uh, dollar yen up at 143.50. Uh, 
Uh, we should pull up the Swiss Yen chart just because it's driving us fucking bananas. Like, here's the Thursday doji, here's the Friday. We were short a cartload of this on Friday. Stopped out at the absolute fucking highs. I mean, within 10 pips of the high. And Thursday we had, I mean, then Friday we had the mystery fucking down move pre non farms. Just a canker sore, just a painful to watch. Um, what's she going to do now? I don't know. Maybe just stay away from Swiss Yen, but. Braver, braver boys will probably sell this um, up near, or maybe sell it now between 50 and 80 here. Um, but yeah, Swiss yen. What a, what a fucking snafu that shit's been for us uh, the last couple of months. Anyway, Euro dollar, gold. These are our main horses. We'll be watching the other stuff and talk to you tomorrow.